Peace and blessings everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Albert and in this episode we have the Peugeot 2008. This is a quite cool car and I'm gonna talk about it. This Peugeot was meant to replace the 207 station wagon and well I think it replaced it quite nicely because well it became very popular. This car was brought to life in 2013 and till today it went through a couple of changes and uh, a couple of facelifts and I have to tell you that somehow it grew on us. I got this car from my friends at CarZ. Now CarZ are a specialized second-hand car dealership located right here in Ipswich. All the cars that they have come with six months RAC warranty which is extendable up to three years. If you want your car to be part exchange they can help you with that. If you have a low credit score and you need finance well CarZ can help you with finance as well. If you want your car to be delivered all the way across UK CarZ are your guys. And yes CarZ was awarded by AutoTrader for their excellent customer service. So check them out and check out their cool inventory at carz.co.uk. The car that I have here is a 2014 model year and why did I choose this one? Well I chose this one because I find it quite interesting. The 2008 features a distinctive front-end design characterized by a wide chrome trimmed grille flanked by these headlights. The grille incorporates the iconic Peugeot line logo. Right here on the hood we have the lion which emphasizes Peugeot's logo brand. The headlights are angular and sleek and somehow if you look very very closely at them these headlights look like a woman's shoe. Take a closer look. They look like some high heels shoes. They look nice don't get me wrong but really? Nevertheless, the headlights have LED daytime running lights and well normal lights as well. Now, the front bumper is very aggressive, it's bolstered and it has this chrome splitter here that shows a little bit of sportiness. Now, the height of the car gives the car an off-road look and I have to tell you that in my opinion it looks quite good. In the front bumper we also have the fog lights which have been integrated perfectly over there and are surrounded by this chrome finish as well as the grille. So overall the front end of the car is good looking, stylish and uh, well looks a little bit aggressive as well. Uh, let's talk about the engine on this car. Now this car has a 1.2 three-cylinder engine that develops 82 horsepower 118 newton meters and goes from 0 to 60 in well never mind that because this is a very economical car this one has a five-speed manual gearbox and with this engine combined well gives a 50 miles per gallon in fuel consumption which isn't bad if you ask me, Albert, would you prefer a bigger engine? Of course I do, but this is what we get. And it's quite economical and, well, it's low on taxes. And you somehow are friendly with the environment as well because it doesn't throw up a lot of CO2. Now, I have to tell you that it's not noisy at all. The cabin is very well isolated and this little engine over here runs quite smoothly. Let's talk about the side of the car because it has some elements that, uh, well, they are quite odd, but don't get me wrong, they look good. Let's start with this hump here. I don't know if you noticed, but the car has a hump right here. 
you cannot see it on the inside but somehow it gives more headroom for the rear passengers and from the outside i have to tell you that it looks quite interesting right here we have this key roof line you can put a lot of things on these like uh, your ski rack or rooftop cargo baggage this car has 16 inch wheels which i like i would have preferred them bigger but they have an interesting pattern and i do like how they look also it has chromed mirrors it has a chrome line over here to emphasize the luxuriness of the car now this is not a high-end luxury car but these chrome elements give it a luxurious look so you can notice that the luxurious chrome lines are right here on the door side as well now i find it odd because it comes from here and goes all the way around here but here they put a black plastic cover i don't know why i think it would have looked even better if this one would have been chromed but well it's not as you can see the height of the car is quite high and well from the side i do have to tell you that the car looks quite quite good it has beautiful lines that go from front to the end and well it looks quite good the rear end of the 2008 Peugeot showcases a sleek and contemporary design. It features stylish taillights that extend vertically from the rear fender towards the boot, giving the car a distinctive and an eye-catching appearance. The rear bumper is sculpted and incorporates reflectors, and here we have the reverse light, and right here we have the fog light. The tailgate has this good-looking spoiler that emphasizes the sportiness of the car as well as with this chrome finish that we have here on the spoiler and the chrome finish that it's on the rear bumper emphasizes the luxuriness that this car has now this is not a luxurious crossover well small crossover suv well yeah but i have to tell you that it's quite eye-catching and these chrome elements that are surrounding the car gives it a luxurious feel overall the rear end of the car is quite eye-catching and i have to tell you that i quite quite like it it's a little bit different than the other models that uh, this car goes to war against now let's check out the cargo space that this car has we have a button here and it's not a powered operated tailgate well you don't need one but it's nice to have it anyways right here we have the cargo space and in the boot you have 410 liters of cargo space but if you want more cargo space you can drop the rear seats and you get a whopping 1400 liters which you can fit a lot of stuff into your Peugeot now the rear boot is quite spacious you do have a couple of latches over there that uh, can keep your groceries bags uh, close to the side of the car so you can not throw them around your boot and um, right here underneath we have well <sighs> under this cover we have the spare wheel because this car was made in the era where you needed a spare wheel now we don't need tires anymore apparently we have those foam cans that we can actually uh, put in the tires if we get a flat but to be honest with you I don't really trust those I do really trust this because it's old school and if you somehow manage to get a flat well you have a spare wheel so that was the boot size or the boot or the trunk of the Peugeot 2008 and now I'm gonna close it from here you don't have any electrical stuff but well this one is quite easy to close and well there it is Yes, I will have removed the key from the ignition. Hello again and welcome in the interior of the Peugeot 2008. Yeah, I was going to one more O's. When you get into this car, you immediately notice how futuristic it is. Even though it was made 10 years ago, well, this one specifically nine years ago, still looks very good even today. We do have these leather seats, which they are sporty and they hug you quite nicely and well, it gives you a very, very comfortable ride. One thing that I like is this, the handbrake. I have to tell you that uh, this one feels like an airplane throttle lever because it's so big and so muscular and I do like it. It's quite easy to use. It's quite operational and it has this leather finish over here with this chrome on the side that actually looks quite good. The 208 can actually carry five passengers with no effort. It feels quite spacious and it's quite 
quite good looking on the inside as well. One thing that caught my attention right away are these stripes on the rooftop. I don't really know why they are placed here and what's their significance, but nevertheless they are here and well, I think they look quite odd and interesting at the same time. I do like these chrome finishes that this car has on the door side and right here on the center console. The steering wheel, it's something that I don't, I mean, I like, but feels kind of small for this car. Uh, it looks good, the materials are nice, feels very sporty, but somehow I, I really think that they could have done better with the steering wheel. Maybe a little bit bigger because it feels like it's my steering wheel from my PS4 or even PS5 or your Xbox anyways so yes the steering wheel even though it looks good i would have preferred it to be a little bit bigger i like it in the smaller cars in the smaller peugeots but this one being a crossover small suv thingy well you would have thought to have something a little bit more bigger right here we have the climate controls and you can see that they are quite stylish and quite good looking the quality of the materials is high we do have this fake piano black plastic here which looks quite nice the material used in the buttons it's quite good and i'm happy that peugeot and all the other small car manufacturers developed quite quite a good sense for using high-end materials right here you can adjust the dual climate control this is a blank button over here and I think that these were supposed to be for the heated seats now this car doesn't have heated seats but well some things are missing in in life as well so we're not gonna make any fuss regarding that right down here we have a USB plug and a jack plug we do have a power socket over here right here we do have some little storage compartment and we have two cup holders here but i have to tell you that the cup holders are very very small i think they are one of the smallest cup holders i ever seen and i don't know why they place them over there because you cannot fit any bottle there maybe just some small coffee cups but other than that well you cannot fit many things over there now let's discuss about the infotainment system here we have a touch screen that looks quite modern even today let's go a little bit into the menu of the car this car has DAB radio it has Bluetooth media and sound system of the car I have to tell you that it's not one of the best is quite good but well it's not really filling up my cup of tea so uh, they could have done better in the music department now we have here the photos and <laughs> luckily enough the car does doesn't have any photos but you can upload photos through the USB port that this car has next to the cup holders let's go into the settings now we have here vehicle settings and you can see this car has an automatic rear wiper activates automatic operation of rear wiper when reversing with front wiper on going through the access this car doesn't have keyless go or keyless entry so we don't have anything here in the lighting department well we have daytime running lamps and welcome lights guide me home lights which uh, they light up when you are closing the car and of course mood lighting which means that you have some lights right here in the middle of the car and well on the sides to be honest with you i think this applies only to the models that come with the sunroof because i didn't see the ambient lighting so far the only thing that i can see was the light that is surrounding the gauge cluster nevertheless if we go here into the speeds you can adjust some speed warnings so this is the vehicle settings if we go into the system we have the screen where we can adjust the brightness of the screen right here in colors we have agora and highlands these are the themes that this infotainment system has now i've played with them a little bit i'm not gonna go through that again because it, it takes a while to change them back and uh, well i'm not gonna waste your time and my time by doing that but this car has well two themes for the infotainment system now here we have the language you can see it has multiple languages date and time and when we press the other button we can see that we have units and we also have factory settings but well i don't want to go and reset the car so overall the screen is quite responsive even though it's well 10 years old but it's quite responsive and it's quite good looking still today i want to mention the fuel consumption of this car so you can see that over the past 6214 miles the car had an average fuel consumption of 38.1 miles per gallon which isn't bad for a 1.2 three-cylinder petrol engine the gauge cluster it's quite good looking and well it has these 
nice blue lights over here you can choose to close them from this button over here now I have to tell you that the gauge cluster it's pretty simple you can see some things right in the middle of the gauge using this button over here but more than that well you don't have a lot of options here but well I'm pretty happy that I can actually see these here and I have to tell you that they are quite good looking right here on the right gauge we have the speedometer and well the fuel tank and on the left side we have the rev counter and the water temperature gauge it's not very sophisticated but it's simple and elegant now overall you do have chrome elements you have leather and well it kind of feels like a luxurious car so overall the interior it's quite good looking it's something that I like and uh, it will give you a lot of pleasure driving this car and being here now it's time to check the rear seats of the Peugeot 2008 and you can see right from the way that it's quite spacious you have a lot of headroom you have a lot of legroom I have to see exactly as I said and well I'm 5.11 ish and uh, I have to tell you that it, it's quite quite spacious in here now in the rear seats well there's not much to talk about you do have these strange lines on the rooftop and well it's nice and pleasant to watch them feels something like an alien movie you have some lights for the rear passengers they are placed right here and they're a little bit odd placed right here I would have expect them somewhere here now something odd you don't have any handles to hold on I cannot for the life of me find a reason why they didn't place some handles over here to make your ride more comfortable but well it is what it is one thing that this car doesn't have as well well it doesn't have two things but we can squeeze it into one it doesn't have any armrests not for the passenger from the for the front passengers not for the rear passengers and I don't really understand why it doesn't have armrests but well it doesn't the rear seats of the car they're quite comfortable you kind of sit a little bit too straight if you know what I'm saying but I have to tell you that the softness of the materials and all well, the room that you have here makes this car very comfortable and uh, you can actually enjoy it on longer journeys as well so yes these are the rear seats ah yeah no cup holders what's up with that geez so it's time to drive the Peugeot 2008 and yes I've been looking forward towards this because well it's a nice car and uh, well I would have preferred it to be an automatic due to the fact that it's not very powerful but nevertheless this is what we have and uh, we have to make lemonade with the lemons that we have the car drives quite nicely feels very smooth this engine well it's a little bit underpowered because well 82 horsepower it's not that much and it lacks the amount of torque as well 118 torque is, yeah but it's good on fuel it's quite silent and it's comfortable enough and what do I mean by comfortable enough well sits on 16 inch wheels and the ride quality isn't harsh the steering is precise and well a little bit nimble you can toss this car around and you can have some fun with it but you will have body roll because it's a big car and well the center of gravity is not that low and you know what I'm saying the car is good on fuel consumption you get around 50 miles per gallon which is quite good you sit quite high and the road visibility is good it's very spacious it feels spacious and I think it's a it's a nice cruiser it's a nice car to have for uh, longer journeys as well the seats are very comfortable and uh, even though they are sport seats in a small crossover they fit in here very well and uh, makes the ride even more pleasurable regarding practicality as you have seen, this is a very practical car it can fit five adults and a lot of baggage so uh, it's quite quite good in that area well you're gonna ask what area isn't good and I'm gonna be honest with you there aren't many faults with the car a couple of things that I would have preferred well one the armrest second the cup holders third a bigger engine and fourth 
for the life of me I cannot understand why this car hasn't been fitted with uh, handles for the uh, these roof handles that usually all the cars have apparently this one doesn't but well it doesn't so we have to move on from that regarding price this is not an expensive car to get this is not an expensive car to keep it might be problematic sometimes but well what car isn't so uh, if you can pass these little thingies I think you will enjoy the car properly as I have and I am enjoying it the infotainment system is quite responsive the sound system eh, but well it is what it is so overall what you get for the money that you pay well you get a nice comfortable car uh, no off-road capabilities whatsoever because this car has front wheel drive isn't a four wheel drive it's just front wheel drive uh, the only thing that seems like an off-roader are the plastic covers over the front bumper and uh, the side of the car and the rear bumper which I have to tell you that they look good but other than that there's no off-roadiness in this car whatsoever one thing that I would like to mention as a plus is the fact that having this 1.2 engine you get low insurance low taxes low fuel consumption and this car has euro 6 emission regulations and well if you live in london or in birmingham and or in any kind of cities that uh, have adopted this stupid euro 6 emission rule well what can i say this can actually be a fun and uh, good looking car so overall i do like the peugeot if you like the video press a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel a lot of more cars are coming and uh, i hope that you guys like my videos because i'm doing my best to provide the high quality materials for uh, anyone who's interested in uh, buying a car to find out so yes I appreciate all of you guys who are watching my videos all the best for you all the best for you and your loved ones and uh, well if you have any questions regarding some cars just uh, ask me over my email address or even on my youtube page in the meantime peace and blessings to all of you and I'll see you soon in a new episode see you later